Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I wanted to give you a tour of our playroom and show you the different organization hacks that I like to do and just show you all the different fun colors that are incorporated in this space specifically geared towards my younger daughter who has a visual impairment. We're trying to make it as bright and colorful as we possibly can to make this space more fun and enjoyable during playtime. So let's get started and I'll show you a tour of our playroom. Starting behind me, we have these primary color organization bins. These bins I actually had when I was a child. They're red, blue, yellow, and green colored, color coordinated, and fun for organization. And then we also have another smaller one with fabric totes for more of our toys. Then here I have this crayon red, blue, green, yellow display for my daughter's pictures when she's done coloring. And then I have this rainbow that I had in my room when I was a kid as well as these other balloons that are up on the wall and also these other balloons that are on the wall next to it. Next we actually took a play pen that was red blue green yellow with the color coordination and we filled it with balls so we made an original ball pit for the girls. So when Ivy was young, she's the younger daughter with the visual impairment, we put these mats by the step so that it wouldn't hurt if she fell or tumbled. And they're just kind of still there, even though she can walk up and down the stairs no problem. Then I have this crayon colored cover. It actually goes for a bed, but I put it over our shoe rack to kind of hide the mess of the shoes. And then we have the blue crayon for a piggy bank. So this next part is really fun in this room. It's a huge big area rug with the alphabet around and then numbers as well and this really brightens up the room. We got it off marketplace and it just adds a lot of color to the area. This rug really ties in all the colors in the room and it just makes it look even more happy in this space. These bins were from Autumn's Mini Mouse room and I just never switched them out so I need to color coordinate those. And then these toys are larger, they don't fit. And then these are where we hang all of our backpacks. For anyone with a visual impairment, your hands are very important. So feeling and touching different textures are important. So these are our foam blocks for the girls to play with. Down here we have these different textured screw on Lego block things. I don't even know what they're called. Um, but then up here we also have the little baby toys. Wasn't expecting to see a baby's butt when I opened this, but that's what you get, I guess, when you're cleaning. And then over here we have the Legos, the smaller version in this wagon. And then we also have the larger Legos in this bag. So this is kind of our Lego station over here, I guess. Here's a better look at what the rug looks like in its entirety. Again, really happy vibes in this room when it's clean. So we have this table with chairs to go along with the color scheme and the girls like to color here and do other activities. Another fun toy in this room is this kids climber. It's a bus with a slide for the girls to play with in this room. They've had a lot of fun playing on this indoors and they have some outside too, but this one was just a starter for Ivy to kind of get acclimated to the slide indoors before going outside. A fun fact about Ivy is she really likes tractors, so we have this tote full of John Deere tractors for her and Autumn to play with. Also with the table, the girls have this little easel that they like to color on and do magnet letters as well. I wasn't sure if I should put this in there because this is kind of like my office area, but it is a lot of more fun colors. So I just was going to show you the different storage units and organization areas that I have. This big yellow clock is another fun toy in the playroom. It's just really happy and big numbers for both me and Ivy. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel. 
I'm also going to leave a link in the description box below if you want to check out my video on toys for the visually impaired. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Toodles!